Hello everyone, welcome to all. In this video, I am going to explain the co-precipitation. Co-precipitation and post-precipitation, these are the two important topics in a gravimetric analysis. When the precipitation processes occur, then sometimes some impurities adhere with the precipitate. So, some impurities adhere before the precipitate and some impurities after after the formation of the precipitate and these terms are known to be the co-precipitation and post-precipitation. I am Mr. Bharat Selke, assistant professor working at Maratha Vidya Prasarak Samaj, Art, Science and Commerce College, Ozermik Nasik. Now see the meaning of co-precipitation. See the first purity of the precipitate. So, when we prepare the any compound, when we prepare the any precipitate by taking suitable reagents, then the purity of that precipitate is most important. So, purity of the precipitate depends on the solvent used for precipitation as well as the substances used for the precipitation. So, purity of the precipitates are discussed in terms of two types co-precipitation and post precipitation. See the first co precipitation. So, when the precipitation is occur, then sometimes the reagents which are used for the precipitation purpose that reagents get associated and forms a precipitate as well as sometimes the another substances which are present in the sample which are present in that compound and now they gets associated and they form some main precipitate. That means, along with the main constituent other constituents gets associated and they form a precipitate. So, that is the contamination of that main precipitate and therefore, that is known as co-precipitation. So, when we discuss the co-precipitation we can simply say that the contamination of the precipitate by substances which are normally soluble in mother liquor. So, the contamination of the precipitate by substances which are normally soluble in mother liquor that is called as co-precipitation. That means, some of the constituents of a mixtures other than the main component and they are present from starting of the precipitate or before formation of precipitate and now they gets associated and they form itself as a one precipitate along with the main precipitate. That means, there are two precipitates formed. One is the main precipitate and another is the precipitate of the impurities, but that precipitate is not easily removed or cannot be easily uh, removed by simple washing because they are so strongly held with the main precipitate and therefore, the removal of co-precipitation is very difficult. This is a most serious error and when you want to remove this error, then take some major precautions to avoid the co-precipitation, but it cannot be simply removed by an washing by any suitable solvents. So, that is the co-precipitation. So, once again revise the contamination of the precipitate by substances which are normally soluble in mother liquor is called co-precipitation. So, simply so contamination is occurred with the main precipitate by some another impurities that is called as co-precipitation or during the formation of precipitate some impurities get solubilized, get precipitate over the main precipitate that is called as co-precipitation. Now, see the co-precipitation is occur due to the two reasons. See the first the co-precipitation due to surface adsorption. That means, the impurities get adsorbed over the surface of the main precipitate and therefore, it is called as co-precipitation due to surface adsorption. Some of the impurities they are less soluble and the dissociation of impurity is very less 
that means they are less soluble in that solvent and when they are less soluble then there is a adsorption of that precipitate. So, co precipitation due to surface adsorption. So, see how it occurs it is observed for gelatinous precipitate that means it cannot be observed for a crystalline character it is observed only for gelatinous precipitate and the ions of a least soluble salt adsorb most strongly by an ionic substances the ions of least soluble that means those ions are very less soluble then they get strongly adsorbed for example, calcium ion is adsorbed preferentially over magnesium ion. Why? Why calcium is adsorbed maximum as compared to magnesium? Because calcium ions is less soluble than magnesium or we can say that calcium sulphate is less soluble than magnesium sulphate. So, those substances are less soluble then they get associated and they can easily adsorb over the surface. This is the simple phenomena for co precipitation due to surface adsorption. And those substances are more soluble, then they are always in the mother liquor, they does not contaminate to the main precipitate. So, this is the first type that is known as co precipitation due to surface adsorption. So, those substances are less soluble those substances are less dissociated then they adsorbs over the surface of the main precipitate and then precipitation is occur that is called as co precipitation due to surface adsorption. So, smaller dissociation of the compound then maximum is the adsorption. So, less amount of compound dissociated then maximum amount of that substance gets adsorb over the main precipitate and impurities occur and then co precipitation is formed. So, this is the first phenomena or first type by which the co precipitation is occur. Now, see the second type due to which again the co precipitation is observed that is the co precipitation due to the formation of solid solution or it is also called as occlusion. So, this type of precipitate is observed during the formation of the precipitate that means the when the precipitate particles are growing initially at a initial stage then the impurities get diffused into that particles and when the crystal grows impurity also grows. So, that means it is the form during the building of the precipitate of the primary particles. So, when primary particle of crystal is formed, primary particle of that precipitate is formed, then impurity gets diffused into that and then impurity is now part of that particle. Initially, impurity is a smaller particle during the building up. So, when the crystal grows, when that precipitate grows, now impurity also grows. That means, impurity is a part of that solid particles, part of that prime uh, crystal particles and the precipitate goes on increasing the size of the precipitate grows. So, the impurity size is also grows. So, that means the precipitation is formed due to the formation of occlusion. So, it is a form during the building up of the precipitate. So, these types of co precipitation or occlusion is observed when there are two phenomena or there are uh, two favorable conditions. So, when the two salts have identical crystal lattice that means the impurity and the main precipitate these so, two salts have the same identical crystal lattice as well as the another second thing is the radii of the ions with equal charge and they do not differ by more than 10 percent. So, when these similarities occur between the impurity and the main precipitate components, then these types of precipitation is occur. Which two phenomena or which two simple things, similar things? So, first one is the two salts have identical crystal lattice. Both salts have identical crystal lattice as well as 
when the radii of the ions with equal charge do not differ by more than 10 percent. So, when these types of similarities occur then co-precipitation due to the formation of solid solution is occur. Now, see it is occurred by the building of the, of the precipitate. So, I told that so it is formed during formation of the precipitate or during the building of the precipitate that means it forms at the initial stage. So, diffuse impurity forms a part of lattice. So, once the impurity get diffuse then that impurity is now a part of lattice we cannot separate it very easily because it is a part of lattice it is a part of that precipitate. So, those salts have a identical crystal lattice then the salts form such a type of impurities and second thing is comparable radii of the ions. So, when these two ions have comparable radii then that ions shows the this type of co-precipitation. For example, AgCl, AgBr, barium sulphate, lead sulphate these are the some salts they forms such a types of co-precipitation or it is known as co-precipitation due to the formation of solid solution or due to the formation of occlusion. So, these are the two reasons two phenomena by which co-precipitation is observed. So, first phenomena is co-precipitation due to surface adsorption. So, when surface adsorption occurs when it is a less soluble and when it is a less dissociate smaller the dissociation greater is the adsorption and second one is due to the formation of solid solution. So, when the precipitate forms then impurity get diffused into that crystal particle or that lattice particle and now it is part of that uh, that co-precipitate that precipitate and then removal of such a impurity is very difficult and then that is the formation of occlusion. When it forms there are two conditions first condition is they have identical crystal lattice and they have comparable radii of the ions. So, this is the co-precipitation due to occlusion. What is co-precipitation? What is the co-precipitation? Co-precipitation is the contamination of precipitate by a substances which are normally soluble in mother liquor. That means, those substances are already soluble in that solvent during the precipitate formation and they contaminate them in precipitate that is called as co-precipitation. Now, see we are going to discuss some conditions which can be minimize the precipitation or we can say we can uh, take some precautions during the formation of precipitation and it is called as minimization of co-precipitation. So, how to minimize the co-precipitation? See the first the solution should contain minimum amount of impurities. So, when we use the solution for precipitation purpose then that solution must have a minimum amount of impurities. Why? Because if we are using the solution with impurities then more amount of co-precipitation will be formed because this impurity contaminate with the main precipitate. So, therefore, use a solution which has less amount of impurities and for that purpose take a dilute and pure solutions. Now, see the second minimization use the double precipitation method. So, double precipitation pre method means the re precipitation of the precipitate is important. If it is possible to re precipitate or uh, if it is possible to double precipitate the method that is the suitable for the removal of co-precipitation. So, simply once the precipitate is formed dissolve in a suitable solvent and again precipitate it. So, by this method we can reduce the effect of impurities for the co-precipitation and that is known as double precipitation method. Now, third digestion or aging operation should be carried out. So, digestion means simply heating of the substance at a normal temperature or heating of the substance at a room temperature 
for a longer time maybe 24 hours so during that the impurity does not get diffused impurity gets solubilized into the mother liquor and when we filter the precipitate then the impurities will go into the mother liquor and precipitate is free from that impurity so that is called as digestion or that is called aging so carried out these operations to remove the impurity or say to minimize the co-precipitation now fourth use of organic solvent also reduces the co-precipitation because the maximum amount of substances get dissolved into that organic solvent and when the precipitate is formed so impurity will remain only in organic solvent and we can filter the precipitate in a pure form so therefore use organic solvents then slow addition of reagent in proper sequence so when we do the precipitate formation then add the reagents very slowly in proper sequence then the proper stirring and then use the proper temperature to reduce the co-precipitation so by using such methods we can minimize the co-precipitation we revise once again minimization of co-precipitation the solution should contain minimum amount of impurities that means which solution which solvent which chemicals we use for precipitation that should contain minimum amount of impurities that is the first condition second is use double precipitation method that means the re-precipitation should be carried out to minimize the co-precipitation then digestion or aging operation should be carried out so substance should be heat at a normal temperature or 30 to 40 degrees Celsius for a longer time or maybe for 24 hours that is digestion then use the organic solvent to reduce the co-precipitation and finally slow addition of reagents in proper sequence stirring and proper temperature reduces co-precipitation these are the some minimization of co-precipitation so in this video we discuss the co-precipitation co-precipitation means contamination of the precipitate by the substances which are soluble in mother liquor then we discuss the co-precipitation due to the two reasons so one is due to surface adsorption and second one is due to formation of occlusion or formation of solid solution and finally we discuss the minimization of co-precipitation so up to this point we have to stop here in next video we will discuss the post precipitation and the difference between co-precipitation and post precipitation thank you for watching this video if you like this video then please subscribe this channel thank you